seven. I just live from New York at the home of the Knicks. It's the NBA. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday night edition of the NBA and all its great action on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan along with Doris Burke and Greg Anthony. On the sideline, we'll be hearing from David Aldridge. Taking a look at Washington. Well, they find themselves energized from a strong set of performances at home and now would love to do the same thing, guys, on the road. And undefeated in the season series, looking to continue that win streak. What do you think, guys? More of the same? All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. Taking a look at the Wizards. The always dangerous wall and below the backcourt. Morris pairs with Gortat down low, and it's Porter in the three spot. And the Washington Wizards last season, Doris, 41 up and 41 down, and they ended up missing the playoffs for the first time in three seasons. And remember, Kevin, this was a team that had made it to the second round and looked like a factor. And injuries played a role, and the East got better. And a new coaching staff will see if they can get back on the winning track. Here's New York. They are coming off that win against Atlanta. You, you just have to admire the versatility they were able to display offensively. You know, contributions across the board. Guys setting screens, passers willingly, shooters. Everyone was on point. And so it looks like Washington will retain possession here. Morris passes to Porter. Outside, Beal. Shot clock at five. And he makes good on the layup. Beal's got the scoreboard going with his first points of the night for the Wizards. They needed that. Just one for five to start this ball game. Some nice passing by New York here. Lee kicks to Perzingis. It's stolen by Morris. Here's Beal. Porzingis with the block. Porter against Anthony. Feeds it to Noah. Gortat with the steal. And here's the fast break. Porter leading the way. Yep, that one goes in there. And I like how he puts himself in position there to finish on the break. You know, true. He got to the spot where there's nothing a defender could do to stop him. Now here's Porzingis. Very solid contribution from him as he averages over 20 points a game. Anthony's shot is off. And you know what? That's one of those heat checks. <laughs> He's taking shots like that. You love the confidence, but that's a situation where they really needed a better look. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Count it good. Well, the NBA, of course, an offensive league these days. We've seen the shift doors over the years. What do you like to see in an offense? Yeah, I think one thing that we have noticed, and it really began with the Miami Heat and then consecutively with the Heat Championship and then San Antonio's Championship, team basketball, where uh, it's not just boiling down to pick and roll, two guys trying to beat two defenders. You're seeing more often than not five guys the ball moving it's poetry in motion you know my favorite thing is unselfish team basketball uh, the stars are going to be the stars that's inevitable but the involvement of other guys you can trace that directly to LeBron James he is a superstar who's concerned about the players around him feeling good and involved and a whole new group out on the floor right now for the Knicks and then for Washington, Jason Smith, he's checked in for Gortat. Sadoransky comes in for Beal. And Trey Burke subbed in for John Wall. And the dunk by Smith. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those Time memorable out. ones. Timeout. Start it. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here franchise. I guess if I'd have to pick one or two moments that define my memories, 
Willis Reed certainly coming out of the tunnel. That's something you hear from generation to generation. And then obviously the drafting of Patrick Ewing. The shot by Sederinski, no good. And Kevin, they need to be consistent with their effort on the boards. You look at the box score, and they're at a definite disadvantage. Back to Thomas. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And we know the Knicks won the very first ever draft lottery back in 1985. They selected Patrick Ewing. What a huge moment for that franchise. Oh, Kevin, it was one of those years where you had a surefire number one pick. Ewing went on to play 15 years with the Knicks, 11 times reaching the All-Star game. Never did win the breakthrough title, however. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Thomas. <laughs> Pass to McClellan. Here's Smith. And oh, he hits the buzzer beater. And he beats the buzzer. So as we end the first quarter, already a double-digit ball game. Welcome back, folks. We'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move here into the second. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Wizards, guys. I tell you what, defensively, they have been in tune with one another as intense as I've seen. Well, they trust each other, and that's something you establish in practice and in games, and you don't see a ton of miscommunication out there. So on the floor for Washington, we've got Oubre, Sadarans there with Thornton, then there's Jason Smith, and it's McClellan in the three. This is his first free throw of the game. The first free throw is good. And guys, as we know, New York has gone through some tough times in the past. The question now is, is New York City still a destination free agents hope to be a part of? Listen, the lore of the city certainly should be a factor. The other part, this is a storied franchise. Morris into the lane. Takes the three. He can't hit that top. Good work defensively by Anthony. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. You know, he has such a great feel for their offensive system. It's why we so often see him on the successful end of plays like that one. Sadaransky the pass to Gortat. Here's McClellan. All alone. There we go. Now in the scoring column with that make, he is one for four. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. The defense fortunate that he didn't burn them there. You'd have to think he wouldn't miss that again. A chance here to assess what parts of the four the attempts have been coming from as we look at the shot chart for New York. And not a lot of attempts from beyond the break. Uh, those deeper three-pointers can be a little outside of some players' range, but they've got guys who can make that shot. I think that's just an outlier so far. Two shots. Last on the first. first one falls for him. Well, Norris, as you try to evaluate teams here in the early going and try to predict what kind of season they might have, what do you personally look for? Well, I think early on, I want to see what kind of defensive habits they're building. Are they championship defensive habits? Are they giving multiple efforts? And then who are they on the offensive end? What's their identity? How do they win? What's their go-to move when times get tight? Oh, and a fast break for the Wizards. Beal dishes the wall. Rose with the block. It's three on three on the fast break. And here's Anthony for three. New York, no good that time either. And this is the thing. They're trying to battle back, but his erratic shooting is really hurt. And another miss by Washington. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. New York, no good that time either. Wizards leading by 13. And Beal kicks to wall. The 10-footer. 
And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. For Washington, they have shot 80% from the line tonight, going 4 of 5 so far. You know, when the Wizards last season went small, I thought they struggled on the boards. They went from a team that was top four in rebounding to bottom six. They simply have got to do a better job on the glass. Let's take this opportunity to show you the teams that have been the best three-point shooting squads over the last ten games. In fourth, the Wizards. You know, they've certainly been knocking down threes at a high rate. You can just see their confidence growing. Rose goes in. Count it. And the Wizards with Marquise Morris at the four and Gortat at center. Do you like that front line? Uh, Kevin, I certainly think there's some talent there, and that's certainly a gifted offensive front court. It comes down to rebounding and rim protection. Can they get the job done there? Now the dish to Morris. Passes it to Beal. Wall again. Throws. Wall attacking. Bucket is good. And the Wizards lead by 14. And this collapse we've seen by their interior defense, it's really the reason why they've struggled and are in such a hole. Their D is getting chewed up. It's time for someone to step forward, put their foot down, and put a stop to these easy baskets. The offensive rebound. Here's Gortat. Nice job clearing some space out under the boards and setting himself up there for the putback. And not just any old putback, Clark, but a big, big follow. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it just feels a lot bigger. Morris passes to Beal. Shot clock at six. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And the Wizards had been one of the last teams to really embrace the three-pointer. Doris, they got on board last season, increasing their attempts out there by, what, by over seven a game. Yeah, and Kevin, they kept their three-point percentage at 36%. Teams around the league now abandoning long two-pointers in favor of those threes. Here's Kuzminskis. Here's Noah. That one, no good. Smith with the defensive effort. Wizards leading by 17. That one falls. Beal's got 10 points in the game. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Snatched up. Noah. And that time, also a missed shot. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. The Wizards working the ball around now. It's Beal on the wing. And he drops in the layup off the glass. 12 points for him. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Here's Rose. Rose can't get that one to fall. Bradley Beal having a dominant impact in this game. Always been a dynamic score, and, and we saw in that first half the entire repertoire on display. Well, there are very few defenders who can check him one-on-one, -on -one. and in fact, collectively, he's a challenge for defenses. Mello and Porzingis, the two stars at the forward spots. The out there with Derek Rose, and it's Noah in at the center position. They're the group for Jeff Hornacek starting the second half. Here's Wall. Rosingas with the steal. Here's Anthony. Kept alive by New York. The second chance effort. Anthony missing again. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Down low. Here's Rose. Good, and a nice assist from Noah. Rose has got his second bucket of the night. Nice move and finish, I think. Oh! Timeout, timeout. 
No, let's go home. That was Sorry. just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. You guys, I've spent a lot of time covering the Knicks, and I think the passion of this fan base is not to be underestimated. Even through some lean years, the arena stays packed. They're thirsting for a winner. Justin Holliday's checked in for the Knicks. Jennings comes in for Rose. Sadoransky's checked in for Washington. Berzingis can't hit. Ooh, he was open there, guys. I'm sure he's kicking himself that he didn't capitalize. And the foul called on Porzingis. That'll be his second foul of the game. That's his second personal foul. And Doris, when you take a look at the Knicks, what do they need to do to get back into the upper echelon of the league? Well, to me, Kevin, it's the...